Prime Minister, phone use behind the wheel as bad as drink driving. Drivers caught for the offence now face six points, a £200 fine, and can't opt for a remedial course as an alternative. Prime Minister Theresa May has called for mobile phone use behind the wheel to become as culturally unacceptable as drink driving, as drivers caught for the offence face new, harsher penalties. Under new plans announced by the Department for Transport, Drivers caught using a mobile phone illegally for the first time will no longer be able to opt for a remedial course as an alternative to points on their license. The Prime Minister said the government was keen to toughen up penalties following reports of fatal accidents caused by drivers distracted by phones. May said, the sentence should fit the crime for those who kill or seriously injure on our roads and it should deter other drivers from causing needless harm just for the sake of taking a call or sending a text. Six penalty points for using a phone when driving. Earlier this year, the DFT announced a new set of penalties for drivers caught using a handheld mobile while driving. Texting, making phone calls without a hands-free kit or checking social media accounts will incur a £200 fine and six driving license penalty points from 2017 onwards. Drivers who have recently passed their test face having their license revoked and being forced to retake their test. The new rules will come into force sometime in the first half of 2017 in England, Scotland, and Wales, and could see fines of up to £1,000 with a six-month driving ban for drivers who are caught twice for the offence. The announcement represents a substantial increase in the penalty attached to being caught using a mobile phone when driving with the current deterrence sitting at a £100 fine and three license penalty points. It comes in the wake of the RACS report on motoring 2016 which showed that record numbers of motorists were using phones at the wheel. The report indicated that 11 million motorists have admitted to making or receiving a call in the last 12 months and a further 5 million have taken photos or videos while driving. The research by the RAC also found attitudes to mobile phone use behind the wheel have relaxed over the last two years with those who say it is acceptable doubling from 7 percenter in 2014 to 14 percenter now. The percentage who are happy to check social media in stationary traffic, at lights, or in congestion has increased from 14 percenter to 20 percenter to. A third of drivers surveyed admitted they've used a mobile for calls, and not with a hands-free system, while one in five admitted they'd sent a text, email, or posted on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Phone use was highest among drivers aged 17 to 24. Responding to news of the increased penalties, A. President Edmund King called the measures radical and said, if we are to change the attitudes of young drivers maybe it has to be that harsh. New speed cameras to catch motorists using a mobile phone. Speed cameras with artificial intelligence that will be capable of catching drivers texting or not wearing their seatbelt could be found on UK roadsides in the future. AUS tech company Movidius, in a partnership with Chinese surveillance camera company Hikvision, has developed a new camera that uses cutting-edge deep neural networks to analyze video footage. This technology allows the cameras to automatically detect transgressions such as mobile phone use behind the wheel and is capable of recognizing the car's make and model, too. The cameras are capable of analyzing footage in real time without the need to send it to a remote server. This will help reduce response times for emergency services attending traffic collisions. Although the technology is still in development, Movidius boss Remy El Wazain said it could have a large impact on the way infrastructures are being used.